and just turn off my Christmas music here. Hey y'all, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel. We bought a house this year, which means that a lot of the things that we have been buying are things for the house. And that stuff is expensive. So we haven't been buying a whole lot of other things, but we do have a few things that have really enhanced my life or Dennis's life or things that I just really love. So I thought I would share them with you. Maybe you are looking for yourself or maybe you are looking for a gift for someone else. You know, Christmas is coming up and if you want them to love you forever, you could get them one of these things or all of these things, you know. So here are my favorite things that I have gotten throughout the year. The first thing is an app on my phone. It is called Spotify. A lot of you, I bet, have it or have heard of it. As someone who is quite frugal, I don't think I would have gotten this for myself had my husband not have gotten it first. So Spotify is an app and with a paid subscription to it, you can create your own playlist, download those playlists, and then listen to them offline. This comes in super handy for the car or the gym or just everyday life. It also has suggested playlists based off of your mood or off of other artists that I find really handy. If you're looking to gift it to somebody, you could give them like a year subscription. That would be excellent. This next item was found when we were taking a stroll through Ikea one day. And this is kind of, it was kind of random. It came looking like this, which we were like, what is this? And then we realized that it is a phone holder. So you just assemble it like so, put this together. And here you have this stand for your phone to sit on. So you can put it like this, or if you are like watching a video like this. The really handy thing about this is that it has a charging little notch in it where you can put your cord and stick it up here and then put your phone on and be charging your phone as well. We actually have a couple of these throughout our house. You can prop them up while you're cooking something. Maybe you'll have a recipe on it. Maybe as you're getting ready in the morning, you wanna watch the news or a video like on YouTube, my channel, as you're getting ready, or really anywhere next to your computer so that you can be typing something as you're looking at it on your phone. They do come in a couple different sizes as well, so like you could have one for your iPad, for example. This next item would be good for a stocking stuffer or to include with another gift, and it is a phone charger. We have a bunch of phone chargers all over the house and I cannot tell you how much I love it. Who doesn't run into the issue of having a dying phone and it needing to be charged? Everybody has that issue. So include this in a stocking and with a gift, whatever, have this be the sole gift, have a couple of these be the gift. <laughs> you can never go wrong. For example, I have one next to the bed in the bathroom and downstairs where I can alternate it between the kitchen and the living room. And I can't tell you how many times it's been nice just to plug in my phone if you wanna have a full battery or like you have a guest come over and they've been traveling maybe and they don't have a car charger or whatever. It's been really nice just to plug in the phone and have a charger. So like we have our ones of course from Apple. I have that upstairs and then like these that we've just even picked up that are a longer cord and this little plug just off of Amazon, that's been really easy. They even have chargers that you can just set your phone on that I would recommend as well. Next up is a Roomba, an iRobot Roomba. So let me tell you the story <laughs> of how we ended up getting a Roomba. One of our friends at Shepherd had a Roomba and when Dennis walked in and saw the carpet lines, he was amazed by this and he was like, what did you just get your carpet clean like what is this and he's like oh i got a roomba this irobot roomba so we ended up he came home and he was like babe you gotta check out this roomba and i'm like okay how much is it and i'm like no that's way too much money i'm like we don't have kids we don't have animals as a two-person household we can handle vacuuming like we don't need a roomba and so we didn't get one and then we waited and I think it was like Black Friday or some sale that was happening and Dennis was like, hey, this is on sale, what do you think? And I'm like, fine, let's get the Roomba. Magic. 
This thing is magic. This Roomba has changed my life. It leaves those really nice carpet lines. I know some people have mentioned that it may eat your rugs, so be careful of that depending on what rugs you have. But it did not eat our carpet ever. We would have everything picked up in the house downstairs so that it wouldn't like be at risk of eating anything, you know, or wrecking anything, knocking it over. So we would set it to go it would be linked up on our phone ahead of time so that when we got home from work it would be all clean and let me just tell you the feeling of walking into a vacuumed house with those lines on the carpet was amazing and dennis would run it like every day that's the key to the roomba i'm telling you you have to run it regularly like every day at, at least at the beginning they do have a new one that will self bring the like self empty the bin and we do have to empty the bin of ours ourselves which is not a big deal we can see on our phone the track that it makes in the house and like exactly the floor layout of where it goes and then it will also like send a notification when it's done and or oh it will send a notification if it gets stuck which it the only place that it would get stuck is on the ikea chair the back of it which is like you know it would get stuck on this wooden part and this Roomba there's a bunch of different kinds of Roombas ours is the one that goes in the pattern I'm so enthusiastic about the Roomba if you can't tell I love this thing it is so 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 good and it plays a melody when it's done it's like do 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 like yay and so yeah I was like celebrate when it goes and sometimes if you're feeling disorganized which you should watch my video on motivation. But sometimes I would start the Roomba and like have to pick up everything before it got to it. And sometimes I'll still do that here, being like, I need to like do something of moving it before the Roomba will get to it. I remember seeing a joke on the internet of being like, I told my kids that the Roomba will destroy the toys if it touches it. So whenever they turned on the Roomba, the kids would like freak out and be picking everything up. A great parenting tip for you. <laughs> Another item that we have been loving is a spare battery pack. There are a bunch of different kinds of these. It's especially helpful and handy when you are traveling like on the airplane, at the airport, when you're at your location. Okay, I wanted to hit on some TV shows that I have been loving. So my parents are like the king and queen of TV shows. They will watch good shows and then recommend them to us. And so we have like a list of good ones. But we just finished up Ray Donovan. We love that. It is a thriller kind of. I don't really know categories of shows or movies. I just know what I like. And Ray Donovan is really good. This year I discovered my love of RuPaul's Drag Race. Ah, this is not, I have such a deep respect for the level of talent. Like I could not even, like they have makeup skills, they have hair skills, they have dancing skills, they have, acrobatics sewing they can do so many things singing a lot of them can sing and dance and just the level of everything they just have such a high standard of performers they are all performers and it is fan fantastic and just knowing the stories that they go through the struggles and then we also went back to an oldie but a goodie we had never watched the big bang theory full through dennis had watched some episodes before and i had watched a few like with my parents i would like walk in and see like half of an episode and stuff y'all i am full out laughing out loud every single episode and they're quick 20 minute episodes it's just like one that you don't have to think too much about you don't have to like follow too much you know i just listened to an interview interview with mayim and she is so smart let's talk about some podcasts i know a lot of people are into the true crime podcast which i have not gotten into dennis has really been enjoying a podcast what is it called fest und flauschig I don't know if I said that right. He really likes to listen to it on the way to work. It helps the time pass by. I'm told that it's a very popular one for Germans and that it is a Spotify exclusive podcast. And then one that I myself have stumbled into is Not Too Deep with Grace Helbig. Grace is a YouTuber. She's been on here for like 10 years. She interviews a different person every time and it introduces you to some new faces in the entertainment industry. It's good for if you're just like painting something like 
floors. Something that I have for my long-haired viewers is something called a Turby Twist. This right here is a, it's long because I have long hair. This is a wrap. So this Turby Twist is for when you have wet hair and you get out of the shower, something that you can put around your hair. You wrap this around the back of your head and then flip it over and then tie this up like this. So this is where your face is. <laughs> and then you hook this around here in the back, this little elastic piece here, you just pull this through and it creates this turban-like headband for you so that you don't have to have a long towel that will fall down. I really have enjoyed this for drying my hair when I get out of the shower. This one I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. It is called a Turby Twist. My next few items are some gym favorites. I have these headphones. These are Beats by Dre. Any wireless headphones are good. Um, these are Power Beats 3. Um, I don't know much about headphones. All I know is that I love these. Last year, Black Friday, they had a really good sale at the BX and that's when Dennis picked these up. And then somehow I ended up stealing them from him. <laughs> Oops, these have been a game changer. I really enjoy just being able to focus, get my workout done. They wrap around your head and then you put them in your ears. These are the headphones up close. They, so this wraps around your ear and then this goes in your ear and this is around your head. Next on my list is gym clothes. So, I used to go to the gym and just throw on an old t-shirt, whatever, be like, here I go, I'm going to go get sweaty. Why would I buy gym gear or fitness gear that is specifically for the gym when I'm just gonna be like washing it a lot and getting it sweaty and gross and whatever. Like I don't wanna be wearing nice clothes to the gym, that is silly. But since becoming an adult, and I don't, I don't know what changed. I really don't. Um, I would see, you know, people would say, "Oh, it was. It's motivating for me to put on buy new gym clothes or put on new gym clothes." And I never really got it until now. So this year, I tried the brand Gymshark, and I feel so good about wearing them. They just have some really fun colors and good patterns like this. I really like this sports bra, these little details here, and like the cutouts. And then I have the matching pants to go with. This has this laser detail here. Next up on my gym list is this water bottle. It's from Imbrava, and it says, Fortune favors the brave on it. It has this Ram logo, the top screws off, and then you have this piece here that blocks the flow from all the water coming out that you just pull this out to fill it up or to wash it. I think this strap is really cute and I just really enjoy having this water bottle at the gym. You do have to drink this um, straight up, otherwise the water will pour a little bit out of the top, so you have to drink it straight on, but that's not a problem. And last on my list, if you or someone that you know incorporates hip thrusts on your leg days, you need a barbell pad. This sucker that I got was a game changer for me. No more bruises, that's all I'm saying. So you just strap this around the bar, and then pleasantly rest it upon your hips. This has made a huge difference for me. All right, that concludes my list of my favorite things from 2019. Maybe you got inspired for yourself or for someone that you know that you need to give a gift to. All right, have a wonderful day and we will see you next time. Cheers!